Hey! Hi. Enjoying yourself? It's great, Crack. It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. Can I ask, what is your life like in this city? Well, there's a fair among the work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. I can. I'm curious. How do you feel Barith has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man, and the city has never been busier. Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. Hussar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... you would rather spend time with this gossiping auntie? I like to greet everyone at parties. There is no shortage of amusements. Enjoy yourself. Sigrid! I expect my son to act like the future king, not roll in the muck. So Flan will take you on as his farting court jester. Think with your head and not your arse. Flan can assure my throne, which will one day be yours. That makes you the arse. Enough! Eivor, my son, Siegfried. I'm sorry, I... I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? I was looking forward to meeting my cousin's son. So, you're the cousin who Da speaks so fondly of. Is the old fool reduced to importing Vikings now? In Norway, you'd be knocked to the ground by now. Come on, then. If you've any guts worth respecting. Fine, whelp. You won't land a single punch. <laughs> I guess I owe you thanks for not beating me, bloody. I am not here to quarrel with you, Sigfrith. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? A visit to Norway might do a young vikinger like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. You're unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king. But he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Bareth can commune with the dead. <laughs> no, his conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Siegfried. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime.
What do you see, Sunan? Rápi böðvarsbrunn, best er jarð þeir að fóri í mikið minnin mig á hann eingum að skipraun Það var lóka sinn sem var of eldu Gaman að ekki mætt sér á hann Ég meina þig það Okay. 
Sessionum in penultime is in session. Quod summonum omnum session. Ique ponte domino musca odia, nos mite nos in alte hospice. Sordidum planetum revolutam, sed non novi. <laughs> Einu sinni finnst frísk maður með langskipmönnum mínum. Have a look, Sunan. Huh. Why so uneasy? <sighs> A king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew he'd... Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and he did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. In dead of night. Stars in the sky, moonlight on snow. <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This. A caution from the gods about my vanity. Come. If we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination run amok, but let us away. Funny how just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. By Thor's hammer, about it. I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we search the night in hopes of catching a will o' the wisp. <laughs> Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. Boris, 
the keyboard. Give yourself up. What? Back! Back! Who are these hands? Damn you, bastards! War cut my flows. Please guide me! My ascension to the throne has not been without contest. The previous king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I am not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. I, tis worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but he doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flan. That's certain. Keep a sharp watch. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king. Always the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Barret. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorstein makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin, I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps he'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two. But then he'll be back, and back again. I can remove this blot, once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your gods' sakes, Barith, let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor... I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfried may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flan on Rise of Sun. Barret said Siegfried would be at the marketplace. I need to learn more about Thorsty.
I'll never learn. Morning, Siegfried. Eivor. It was a rough night. I drank too much and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly. But could you tell me what you know of this man, Thorstein? Ah. Ta told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein is a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join. Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this Amar. Likes her ale the way kittens like milk. Spends her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passersby. I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Amar. She's a vicious fighter. I need your eyes, my friend. Enjoying her ale. Likely to be a ma. What are you drinking, friend? The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for a good drink and good company. <laughs> You've stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to... Well, who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. Orvis got some ground herbs. Powerful Seda. Keep going. I'm, I'm still thirsty. Come now, darling. Stop before you make a sick mess. You are a compelling woman. What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with a key to his secret lair. He has a lair? I would very much like to see that. Over in Dupke Landing? Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal? I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what that is. 
But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. If they see me, this will... I need to get that key from her. If I'm careful, I can avoid a fight. Mm-hmm. 